All right, welcome back everyone to another episode of MC Eternal. I hope that everyone is having a great day. I know that I am. Um, we are just jumping right on into it today. So I've actually been playing for quite some time today um, to get a little bit of progression done on um, on a little bit of building, which I said that I'm going to leave most of it off camera um, just because I know a lot of people like to see the exploration or the finished products. Um, so that's the plan for now. We might do live streams like I mentioned in the last episode when we do building. However, today we didn't ultimately do that. So I want to show you guys what I have going on so far with, uh, with my next build. And uh, let me sleep through the night really quickly here. There we go. Um, I'm actually really, really excited about this one. I'm putting in a lot of different aspects into it. Um, and I'll get to it in just a second. I'll show you guys. But first, I want to show you what I added over here. So we have our wizard tower. And I was out collecting resources. And I came across some of these silverwood trees. And uh, I thought that they would be a really good accent over here for our wizard tower. Um, they just look very, you know, magical. I mean, they are from Thalmcraft. So they do have that magic vibe to them. And so I added two of them over here to just give it a little more uh, foliage uh, around our tower. And I think it looks really, really nice. I'm really, really happy with adding those in. Obviously, still haven't done anything with our kitchen yet. But that could change because of what I am doing today. So let's head on over and show you what I have been working on. So I'm trying to keep it out of sight, but we do have a pathway going up to it now. And it's right up here. So it's coming along. As you can see, I'm not 100% done with it. Let's hop up on this roost, roost up here so we can see. But yeah, so it's coming along quite nicely. This is our man-made um, little pond area that we put in where we have our um, water mills going for our for our grid. And I was contemplating last episode maybe putting in a uh, power plant type area up here. Um, but then we had put in our fishing up here. And I thought to myself today, oh, well, why don't we put in a little fishing shack then? And I just started on things and it kind of ultimately ended up like this. So I added in some willow trees, as you can see. I went out to a bog and I actually took our biome staff with us. And I turned most of this area into a bog, which is kind of cool. You can see a little bit right here where the grass is a different color. It is, um, it's like a little bit darker compared to the normal grass right here. So I did that, went around, and I put in this bog biome for the most part up here. I don't know what baddies it'll spawn, but you will deal with it when we need to deal with it. I still need to add a few more things in. But then I also took some of this, let me get into here, some of this loamy dirt. Um, I have normal loamy and then coarse dirt and then mud. I took all of those from the bog biome and I started adding them in along with some cattails and uh, some lily pads. And this is what we got going so far. I mean, it's going to look really, really cool once it's all said and done. Um, I'll take you into the partially completed building. Um, I'm going to obviously add a roof to it. And I have a good idea of what I want the roof to look like because of this multi-purpose building. Um, but first of all, we have our nice little dock up here where we can come up and then do a little bit of fishing off of you. have the willow tree that's right here. And I'll probably add something additional right over in here. Or I was even contemplating maybe we'll expand this little pond area to be a little bit wider but um, we have that here obviously um, no one's really going to be doing anything here um, because ooh, can we get out of this how do we get out of this um, can I just break it and get out of it there we go uh, where'd it go there it is uh, no one's really going to be using this because obviously all of our fishing is automatic with our automatic fisher um, there's a few things I want to touch on with these in just a second, but I put a f little bit of a stair in here. Um, I was going to make it too wide, but then I'm like, eh, let's just make it one wide. Why not? We'll kind of stick to that very minimalistic um, movement in here, and uh, I'm opting not to use elevators this time. So I'll show you. We can come down here to the basement, and we have our setup. So we have some nice limestone brick uh, flooring, and then we have our little setup for our fishing. 
And what I did is I just routed everything under here. We have our grid power over here for our, our wireless RF transmitter. We have our cat, catch basin. So this will catch everything that isn't, uh, well, it's interesting that it's not extracting. Why is it extracting to, oh, we, uh, no, it's insert. Yeah, it should insert into this. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, obviously I have it set up so where like um, there's some drawers on here, and maybe it's because I don't have the controller set up to it. I don't. I didn't think I needed a controller set up in order to do this. I don't know why it wouldn't be extracting these. Oh, you know why? Because the extraction, ah, that's what it is. So I have it extracting. Oh, and then we need to put the fill. Okay, I have the filter in the wrong spot. Basically, that's what it is. Because basically, I put this in here from the crate to our um, item transfer node there. I really should have that open more a little. Let's grab that filter and then let's put it over there because we want it on the insert over there we only want certain things to go that way there we go that should work but yeah i had set it up with the item filled the uh, wireless item node transfer node first and then i added these drawers on and so basically it was filtering still um through this whole system because i put the filter on the extract rather than the insert into the node so that was my bad no worries we could easily we easily fix that and now everything is moving along just fine we have all these dungeon tactics things that we're getting and look at all of these bows that we have. We honestly might want to filter these bad boys out as well. Um, so we're not getting a ton of those. Um, but this will store up a little bit. Um, just due to the filtering issues, we can't um, have our f some of our fish go to our normal drawer setup because of... Where did this come from? I'll put that up there. Because if we filtered on Minecraft, it would get all this additional stuff here. So all of these bows and everything like that would go to our fridge. And I don't want that. Um, I am planning to hook this in and have more drawers over in our kitchen that will hold all the different types of fish. But for now, I'm just going to let it be. And uh, if we run into a problem, we can obviously address it when it gets that time. So, the... Other thing that I'm thinking that I'm going to use this location for is brewing. So, in the last episode, we were progressing down some quests for... Where was it? I think it was introduction, right? For Fish's Undead Rising. So, the first one is playing God. And in order to do this, we needed the Potion of Fission. And in order to do that, we needed to take this... Hyphae, I believe, and uh, brew it into some into some awkward potions, which we needed. Uh, we need nether wart and normal water bottles for. So, realistically, I wanted a good place to do this. And as I was constructing this building, I'm like, hey, this would be a perfect location to get things up and going for um, for brewing as well. So. What I'm thinking, and actually, now that I'm looking at this, I might, I think I might take these out. Because really, I want to make use of this. And in order to make use of it, I want to have it just like so. And actually, you know what? We're going to want to put, just for the moment, so we can get these put in here. Just like that, and then we can take them out. And I'm okay with the wood. I think the wood would be fine looking. But that'll give us some of those. And then what we could even do then on top of that is place some of these bad boys. So, what are these bad boys? These half slabs that you may be wondering. Because then what we can do is we could put our brewing stand right here in the corner or something like that. That would be kind of cool. Have it set up like that. 
You could even cut this off, just have it go straight down. So anyway, I'm getting distracted. I, this is why I want to do a lot of the building off camera is because you, uh, I get so caught up in different ideas that I have for building that, um, that I kind of lose track of my commentary, which is never good. I obviously want to keep you guys entertained. But anywho, so I made this diamond bit saw from Chisels and Bits, and it basically will let you cut blocks into um, smaller portions. And for example, they're, they're talking in it in the description, and it says, craft with blocks or chisel blocks, cut along any of the three axes. So um, I can give you a good example here. Let me get a block that will look very good when we cut it up. Um, so we can do some, just a block of spruce, what I'll show you here. So let's take that off our inventory. Uh, we need it actually. So we have the diamond bit saw and all you need to do, uh, actually, first of all, let me show you the recipe. Just some sticks and diamond. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there's also a description in here for it as well if you're interested. But basically you put your spruce plank or whatever block you want into your inventory like so and you can move the saw to craft it in different directions so um, and it also can show you how to place it too so left shaking left shaking left shifting to ignore block grid mouse wheel to cycle placement rotation and so on and so forth so these two for the most part are pretty much the same when you go like this for the first one and then if you go up top you'll get a half slab like so so let's say we'll take these bad boys we're going to cut them in half so it's basically like half of a wall like half half the depth of a wall now you can keep going even further down as you can see you can cut them to be even shorter to be almost like molding like around um, baseboards and so on and so forth around the bottom of uh, rooms or even crown molding on the top or you can move the saw into this corner and you'll get a corner piece so let me show you here we have a few of them set up so we have this one which is oh this is pretty nice so this is the um, this is just a stone block that we have cut in half, and I'm shifting, and as you can see, it starts to ignore the um, the block, the um, what's it called, uh, snap to block, because if we're like this, it's snapping back and forth. I hold shift, and it floats freely, and then if I use the scroll wheel, I can move it around. So let's say, oh, you know, hey, I want it to be right here, perfect. But let's say I actually want it to be on the left side. So I can hold shift, rotate it, and we sh actually have to shift it this way and rotate it, and boom, we can get it on the left side, like so. So it's really, really convenient. If you're just trying to snap it on your own, it can get very difficult because, I mean, as you can see, it takes some time. You have to walk around, kind of figure out the right positioning to get it to how you want it. Um, and it's just kind of complicated, to be, to be completely honest with you. Um, now, if we put one down like so, and then I'm actually going to get rid of some of these, and we take another one, we're going to shift it uh, just like, where are we looking here? I want it to be, I want it to be on its own block, like that, if we put it there, right? So this would be a normal corner, let's say, but then you want that little corner piece taken care of. That's where these little, um, you know, side corner pieces that I was showing in the crafting earlier come in handy. You just go like that and boom, you got the whole corner figured out there. So we can take these bad boys out. So yeah, it's really, really cool to add in those different textures. And that's what I'm kind of going with here. You get different textures and depths on your building. So we have a pretty decent depth. Um, when we come in here, I don't know if I'm going to keep them these or if I'm going to do a darker one. That's what I was kind of hoping to get to today, maybe, is getting a little bit of a darker wood going in here um, so we can keep going with that build and finding some of it. There's some really cool uh, different wood types that you can get. So that would be awesome to look into. I'm also realizing that we do have a quest. So we, we didn't collect our rewards from killing the guy in the last episode. So we get some gold, we get a little bit of money, we get mushroom stew, 
We get a bounty hunter mask and then a random loot, which was beef jerky. So nothing too crazy, um, but that kind of wraps that bad boy up, which is cool. So yeah, I'm really liking this. I like how the, um, the vibe is going with it, making it more of a swampy biome feel for our fishing area. I think it's going to turn out really, really cool in the long run. But anywho, I've been blabbering on way too much. There was one other thing that I wanted to do today, which was get into the architect's saw bench. However, I've already been talking on building so much as it is. I'm thinking that we're just going to skip ahead to trying to get some potions crafted up so that uh, so that we can continue down that path. So with that being said, guys, let me get some um, actually. Yeah, let me get some resources together, get some bottles, get my nether wart. And then uh, I'll bring you guys on back. What is... Who, what? Oh, we got a bad guy here. Um, I'll bring you on back. And once we are back, we will get crafting on those potions to continue down the path of Fish's Undead Rising. All right, guys. So we have our potions brewing here. Um, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get our awkward potions. But if we come in here and we take a peek at our, that's not what I wanted. If we take a peek at our quests here, introduction, this one, I'm going to put A on it so we can track it. And I'm actually going to take off some of this other junk that we do not need at the time being. Seeds, we don't need that. We don't need that, that or that for the time being. Um, yeah. So basically, we're just going to take some of these awkward potions, which we get like so. And we'll add a little bit of this to it, and we will get the potion of fishing. Now, I don't know... Oh, turn animal into two individuals. Okay. And it says that it wants us to use it on any farm animal. So we have some chickens down there, so maybe we will use this on some chickens. Um, there's our awkward potion. So we'll take these nether warts out, and we'll stick in some of this. And we'll stick the nether wart away for the time being along with our water. And this will craft up. I did set it up as well. I'd like to mention that our wireless crafting terminal is in our bobble inventory now rather than on a hot, buyer, hot bar or anything like that. So I can shortcut to opening everything up, which is a lot more convenient really um, now that I'm working more around the hometown here. So these crafted up, we got three potions of fission. And we did get the quest completed. We get a little bit of money and a random loot, which was a golden egg. I don't know what... I feel like I should know what the golden egg is used for. Uses. Uh, when thrown, a chicken with a golden waddle will hatch and it lays gold egg. It's instead... Oh, yes. We have encountered this boy before. Let's throw him down in our farm here. Actually, you know what? It said it will make it two individuals. So I wonder... Get him in there, right? And I'm trying to keep track of him because I want to double him. Is there an easy way? Yeah, oh yeah, we can hop up and over. Okay. Is that... So you're the golden chicken. Let's try this. Um, I thought you can use it on any farm animal. It said maybe it's because I got this in my hand. There's so many freaking chickens. Well, I just killed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, how do I earn? Hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it just doesn't work on. Um, it didn't work on that special one because it was some kind of special chicken. But look at that. It turned those two, that one chicken into two chickens. Which is pretty cool. So really, you could get some cows and you could, um, you know, you could turn them into to double that, you know, if you just made those. And you could basically expand without having to use food to breed them, which is pretty cool. Um, so that is that part of the quest. The next one is to get an undying heart. And this is just a loot that you can get. Um, I'm hearing a zombie. Why am I hearing a zombie? Ah, there he is. 
I think it's always comical how many drops we get just because we um we have a good looting sword. I think it's always funny. Alright, get rid of that. Okay. So we need an undying heart, and I feel like I had one. Right? No, maybe I don't. I'll have to check my chests down in the basement, because I do have a bunch of junk down there that I'm not using. Yeah, Undying Heart, okay. So let's head over here, let's head into the base, check the basement um, chests and see what we have, because I want to say we have one, and maybe it's over... Oh, I forgot about... I, f I thought this was an actual enemy for a second, but it's not. I swear we had one. Oh, we had an awkward potion down here. I probably should move some of this stuff over once we get set up over um, with our potion brewing area. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm not seeing anything in there. Not seeing anything in there either. Nada in this one. And nothing in this one. I swear we've had it before. And maybe we've just gotten rid of it, unfortunately. Um, that would be kind of disappointing if we have. Let's turn the lights off in here. And let's see um, what we can get spawning into our junk. Because maybe if we let this go long enough, we'll get what we want from it. So um, let me let that run for a little bit. And I'll try to figure out with this undying heart um, how we're going to get it. All right, guys, so I let the mob farm run just for a little bit, and we ended up getting an undying heart. So um, I was looking it up to see what we could get it from, and it can be obtained from the undead swine, a wendigo, or a sludge lord. Um, so as long as you can spawn those boys and get one of them to drop it for you, You'll be good to go. So I'm guessing we've had it before, but we just ultimately we ultimately got rid of it because we didn't think we needed it. And uh, obviously now we needed it for this quest progression. So we got some money and a random loot, triple compressed dirt, which is kind of interesting. So now we can do... Um, we could do some of those. We could do a swine mask. I don't know what that's used for. Undead swine will be neutral to player. Oh, there's there's multiples of it, I'm guessing. Swine. Yes, there's a whole outfit. Okay. Interesting. I mean, we don't encounter undead swine that much that I feel like it's necessary. Um, do we get anything? We only get 50 rewards from that. And same with that one. I kind of want to try this, though. So if you put a jack-o'-lantern on top of two hay bales and then right-click uh, the middle with an undying heart to summon a special pet. So I kind of want to do that. So we need two hay barrel bales and a jack-o'-lantern, um, which I don't know if I have any of either of those. Um, we obviously have plenty of wheat. To make hay bales and i think yeah i'm pretty positive i converted everything so let's grab a little bit of hay or wheat i should say uh, i need one more boom get a hay bale oh actually we need more Is that nine seven nine Get this, this, and boom. Okay, cool. So we got our hay bales. We got our pumpkin. It's not a jack-o'-lantern. I think we need to... I think it's just a torch, if I'm not mistaken, right? Cool. And then it says we'll give us a special pet. So let's put two, two, and then a jack-o'-lantern on top. And then we have an undying heart with lifesteal three on it for some reason. It has it on it. So let's try this. Oh, that's so cool. 
We have our own scarecrow friend. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hold the phone. Do we have... We don't have it in our inventory. I need to get a name tag. That's so cool. I don't I don't think he follows us around. I'm guessing he's just going to chill. But we have some name tags down here. Grab one of those. This seems to be still doing pretty good, which is awesome. That's what I like to see. Um, let's grab a... Oh, he does follow us around. Can I name you at all? No? Unless I just can't hit your... Oh, he disappears a little bit. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, can I, like, train you? Can you sit or anything like that? Nah, you just chilling? Alright, I mean, I guess he's gonna follow us around then. Stick that around. That's so cool! Look at this dude! Aw, oh, he's a cool guy. That's really cool. But yeah, I mean... I think that's gonna... No, 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 that's not in the episode there. I was I was gonna say that's gonna do it, but we still we're only 26 minutes in um, I think we still have plenty of time to do it. We have a pet bandana. Ooh, Okay, or bandage. I'm an idiot and then maple syrup pancakes Interesting, okay, so if I give this to you. Oh, you're healed. Oh That's so cute. Okay um, We're not hungry at all. So let's just Put those in there. Ooh. This is bad. This is so bad. Now we have two. Can we get three? Oh, this is this is not gonna be good. So I can't use it on that one. Can I use it on him again? Okay, no, you can only use it one time on him, it seems like. Oh, that's so cool. We have two now. But it's interesting because this one doesn't actually show up. This one, I thought did. Yeah. Um, where's this hitbox? Right there, Scarecrow. Oh, I guess this one does too. And I, I can't do it again. Okay. That would have been so cool if we could do it again. Now we just have two Scarecrow dudes who are our friends. It's awesome. Um, okay. So then I guess probably what we should do is they're just gonna be chilling that's gonna freak me out i'm gonna th oh how, why are you dying you already took four damage because you tried to jump through a place you can't go my guy like oh my gosh um i do want to try to get this saw up and going though because i thought it looked cool so i want to do this architect's saw bench from architecture craft let's see at our uh texture Okay, yeah, cool. So there's a hammer, a chisel, and then this is an example of all the different things you can do with blocks, which seems really, really cool. So let's get this going. Um, it looks like we're gonna need a circular saw blade. That's pretty straightforward to make. We're going to need a large pulley, which again, that seems pretty straightforward. And then a pressure plate. We do not have one, so we can craft a bad boy really quick. And bada bing, bada boom, we have our saw bench. So let's stick this out here. Um, I want it to look cool, though. So can we put it in a direction? Yeah, that looks sick. I mean, you're supposed to, like, pedal it, but, you know, whatever. So I really want to use this because it's just kind of dope looking. Um, the cool thing is you can use it with half slabs for whatever reason. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. Um, I don't know if you get more. You know, that's actually a good question. I don't know if you get more if you use a full block compared to a half slab. Let's try it out. So with this, we got two. With that, you get two as well. So honestly, it's a little bit better to do half slabs, right? Yeah, two and two. Yeah, doesn't matter. But this is really cool because you can do... Um, make different types of blocks that you typically wouldn't have so for example on our right side we have roofing we have rounded if you wanted to make like rounded pillars um, there's classical if you wanted like a classical type pillar or like a molding 
Um, there are windows that you could do. So if you didn't want to use glass um, in a window, you could just do a frame like so. Um, there are arches, which are kind of cool. There are railings, and then there are other, which other seems more so like slabs and so on and so forth. But I think the roofing is probably the one that looks the coolest. My guy, you're going to die out there. So let's just do an example of this. Um, actually, let's do a crazy example. So that's going to get us one. What if we do... Yeah. We'll do that. Actually, these ones look pretty sick. Let's do one of these. And then we'll get another one of these. And we'll do one of those. And we'll do one more and get one more. Because this is just an example. Oh, unfortunately you can't stack those. That's kind of interesting. These guys are going to kill themselves. It's hilarious. Um, so let's go out to this open area. And this is really cool. So we can place this down. And from our angle here, it for the most part looks regular. But then we can turn around to the opposite side and it's curved. I mean, that's so cool looking. Now, if we wanted to, we could then... I believe, yep, do it like that. And then it seamlessly connects in. So we got that nice curve there. Now it does register as um, a block still being there. Like you can get up close as you can see, like we can get close to this, um, but you get close enough and it'll, it'll bump you up or you'll have to jump up to it. Um, I'm guessing though, if you put two like so, you can see the, there are some downfalls to it so it won't let you follow it perfectly smooth for example on this curve like if we're coming around it holds us here like i can't go any farther until i bump out a little bit and i'm like that but um yeah and then you can come to this side and look how it looks from this side from this side it just looks like normal minecraft blocks you wouldn't think of it but then you come out here and you're like wow that's so cool because it just curves now let's grab these boys um, and I can show you what else you could also just do these I mean you could literally make a circle you could make decorative items like that would be kind of cool if you did it uh, in some kind of decoration as well if you were just adding um, cool architecture to maybe something that you're making I think this opens up a lot of potential and I really want to try to use it on our house over here I don't know how it'll work I haven't I have an idea of how I want it to look I don't know if it's going to turn out exactly the way I want it though, um, because it'd be kind of cool to use this thatch again, but at the same time, it'd be cool to make it like a high peak roof to kind of go along with that very, um, like just kind of spooky vibe to it. And that actually kind of makes me think we could get a couple of pumpkins going. I didn't think of this before. Well, we'll grab some torches here. We'll get a few jack-o'-lanterns and we'll fly up here and we could put some jack-o'-lanterns around. I think that would be kind of cool just to make it a little more, you know, spoopy. Get like one there maybe. Maybe we'll stick one like over here and then maybe like one like right there or something like that. Kind of add them in. Maybe we don't need that one that's that close, actually. Let's take this one out of here. Let's grab that. Maybe we'll stick this somewhere else. Like over here. We'll stick that one over there. But it looks kind of cool. I mean, not going to lie. I mean, I think it's going to be a really cool building once we're once it's all said and done. But we need to work on it a little more. But with that being said, guys, we're going to end the episode there. Oh my god, these guys are... I might end up killing them. Because they are going to get a kind of annoying. But um, yeah, we're going to end the episode there. We've done plenty for this episode. And uh, obviously there's still plenty more to do going forward. Which I cannot wait to get into. Um, if you guys like this episode, feel free to leave a like down below. Or better yet, leave me a comment. I love to read all of your comments. And uh, hearing all of your suggestions. I do... Um, you know, take them all into consideration. If you are new to the channel and you want to follow along, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It lets you know every single time a new episode is posted to the channel. But other than that, guys, thank you for sticking through till the end. I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks.